everybody, I'm Tuckerfer. And I'm Medigma. And welcome to Storytime, where maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. We'll let you decide. Okay, I need a story for this time. Let's go back to school. Let's... Oh, I don't like school. Oh, not go back to school. Let's reminisce. Oh, thank God. All right, there was this one time when Benigma and I were in school. We didn't have the same class, but I remember that I... He was in study hall, right? You Um, don't even know what story I'm telling. (laughs) It's the... I don't know. I was in study hall I got kicked out of physics class and... You went up to hang out with me and all that stuff. Anyway, okay, okay, you're getting ahead of myself. Anyway, so I'm in physics class. Teacher is a douche. Surprise, now, surprise. Now remember, I was a preschool teacher, so I'm all about teachers being cool. I understand they have a hard job. This guy was just mean. He, he was mean to be mean. I mean, he, he like lived for being mean. He, reputation. So I get all snippy with him because I hadn't slept the night before, and I'm just like, whatever, man, screw you. Have Wait a all- second. You got all snippy? When are you not snippy? Shut tell, tell <laughs> No. See, exactly. No, so I get all snappy and snippy with him. And this is during a time in my life where I wasn't necessarily the greatest person, and I'm not the nicest and coolest outgoing person you know now. But so I get an attitude with him. I'm like, screw you, man. You could take your physics and turn it upside down in gravity and. <laughs> so. <laughs> he, Something like that. He, write, he writes me up. And he's like, get out of here. Go to the office. And I'm like, Freaking crap. So I get the ride up and I go out and I get my phone out and I text Ben and I'm like, dude, just got kicked out of class. He's like, no way. I was like, yes way. I'm not doing it. I refuse to go to the office. I'm just going to keep my ride. This is not a good story. Don't, don't do this at school. You'll understand. So anyway, I was like, don't do this. It's not cool. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to the office. So I text Ben. I'm like, dude, you want to dish study hall? He's like, I can try to get out. So he meets up with me. And until, the, until the teacher had to use the bathroom, never came back. <laughs> he went to the C hallway, and we did one of those things, you know, where you know we both go into the bathroom. It's not weird. It's not going to be like that. And we uh, were hiding out in the bathroom, waiting on the period to be over. So we're just hanging out, talking stuff, getting real quiet. Anytime we think we hear somebody coming. <laughs> Like hold or acting, our breath and like we're washing our hands in case it's a teacher coming in. Somebody else will, hey, what's up, man? Yeah. So, anyway, class is over about 30 minutes later. I'm like, later, bro. So he leaves. He goes to his next. He goes to get his stuff out of study hall. Yeah. I I leave to go to my next class. So periods go by later. Mr. Benigma here is having a great day. That's all well and fun until um, lunchtime. And we shared the same lunch. lunch period, right? I love lunch. So, this guy, he was a major, major douche. Anyway, Ben and I are eating lunch and talking about, like, what's new on PlayStation 2 or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but, no, not PlayStation 2. That was middle school. What's new on Xbox? There you go. Anyway, so we're talking, and this guy comes up for a. Uh, Lack of a better name, we're going to name him Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny is always going to be the name we use for the third random person in our story, if there's a third random person. Sometimes it really is going to be Johnny, sometimes it's not. This is not Johnny, it, it but we're calling him Johnny. Anyway, the Johnny was a bully. Hardcore douche. Jock. Real big. Not like real big, but big enough. And uh, he always kind of messed with Ben. And I always was like, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. I was already in a bad mood because the whole thing was... Physics class earlier. Physics douche. So he comes in to our area and he's like, Yo, Ben, blah, blah, blah. He's like spouting off all this stuff. And I'm just like, I'm sick of this. So I nonchalantly get up. I throw my tray away. Or throw away my tray. Throw away the food then set the tray up on the thing. And I come back over and I'm like, You really need to stop running your mouth, man. He goes, What are you going to do about it? And I was like, I've asked you to leave him alone. And he's like, you know, and I just shove the dude. Dude trips over a chair, falls back. I'm on top of him. Got three good hits in. I'm cheering him on. (laughs) Yeah. He's like, oh, man. Like, I'm sure Ben could have handled himself. I was in the mood to hit somebody, so. So I let him do it. So I jump up off of him. I'm like, you don't mess with people. You leave my friends alone. You quit messing with all the people in the school. 
everybody's like, Woo! Teachers like, Woo! everybody goes, oh. So, a lot of noises. I get marched down to the office, and I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, dang, this sucks. So, but I was really good uh, and good with the principal. So, it didn't turn out as bad for me as it should have since I was sticking up and the school was big time no anti bullying policy. It wasn't like it is now where, like, if anybody hits anybody, the cops are called and, like, it goes down and you're screwed. It's just so stupid. The guy had a big issue with messing with people. So he kind of was, like, giving me the thumbs up and being like, you shouldn't do that. So I got in trouble still. But while I'm sitting in his office, man, this sucks. Uh, physics teacher walks in. And I was like, oh, man. And he's like, hey, Mr. Mr. Principal. Mr. Principal, is That's he so still? Are man. you still in here from earlier? That was a long time ago. And like, and he goes earlier. And he goes, yeah. I, he's like, no, we got in a, he got in a fight. And he shakes his head and goes, dumb kids. And I was like, excuse me. And he goes, no, no. And the principal's like, calm down. And he's like, the teacher said, so did he come down here with the write up I sent him with earlier? And I was just like, oops, oh crap, my bad day just turned bad. And. He goes, no, I don't think so. And they both look at me. And I was like, I came down here. And I sat and waited for a while. And he wasn't here. So I just went to my next class after the bell rang. And this was, this was like gambling on the crippled horse in the horse race that has a bad eye. And has a heart attack in the middle of the race, but you bet on him anyway. <laughs> That's real nice. Chances are none. And the guy goes, "What time?" Or the principal goes, "What time were you down here?" I was about, and the guy's like, "I sent him down at about ten forty-five." And he goes, "Oh, I was in an hour-long meeting at that point." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" Oh, and I was like, "Yeah, I still have the write-up here." And he goes, "All right." He goes, "Well, since you uh, you helped out another student, even though you didn't do it the way you should have, but I understand." We'll go ahead and just combine these as one write-up, not write you up for two different things, and just give you a, give you one two-hour after-school detention and a couple days out of school. I was like, awesome, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. And he goes, hey, from now on, don't fight people. Just come to the office or something. Let us know. We'll take care of it. We have a big anti-bully clause. I was like, all right. So, yeah, that's the story about the one time Tucker for stood up for Benigma and then almost got in a lot of trouble for it. <laughs> Almost got yourself expelled. Oh, yeah, that that. would have been bad. But, hey, hey, don't hit people. Don't get in fights. It's not worth that. This was a different day and age when schools were... School has changed very quickly. And we were in a different kind of area where we live. It's more of a kind of everyday thing. So, But, yeah, I'm Tuckifer. And I'm Enigma. And this has been Storytime, where maybe it's true. Maybe it's not.